This is a Halloween workflow and it's designed for a bit of fun for students, not only to create a Halloween scene, but to learn some of the basic features of Keynote. So we've got seven slides here and what we wanna do is get students to use each of the slides to do a different activity on and then take what they've done and put it all back together on slide one. They don't have to do all of it. They can do a couple of slides or they can just do one slide and then create their own scene. If they wanna take it even further, they can start to build a soundscape in GarageBand, import that in and export the keynote as a movie. On each slide, there are audio instructions so the students can tap on these and listen to what they have to do. Can you make the night sky appear to sparkle with stars? So for this one, we wanna animate the night sky. So if we tap on this and we tap on animate and then we tap on build in and we wanna try and find sparkle or shimmer. I think shimmer looks better than sparkle. It looks more like stars. And we're gonna make the duration go a little bit longer than that. So it looks more twinkly. On the second slide, we have some witches that you can copy and paste over onto the first slide and try to make them look like they're flying. Now there are two different types of witches. There's one that's already built for you. And if we tap on this and we tap copy, go back to our first slide and paste. We can put our witch in here. We'll resize. I'm gonna pinch to zoom out and take my witch off the slide. I'm gonna tap on it and tap animate and choose add action and then create path. Pinch to zoom out again and move my witch along the night sky. Tap done. Tap on motion path again, and I'm gonna choose a line to path and see what this looks like. That's looking a bit weird, I think. So I'm gonna turn a line to path off. And that's looking much better. On the second one, there's a placeholder there. And what we wanna do is put our emoji on there. It can be fun to edit your Memoji and change the hairstyle. You could maybe make your skin green or put a witch's hat on, take a screenshot and crop it. So what I'm gonna do is tap on my placeholder by tapping plus to access my camera roll. And I've already made my Memoji and taken a screenshot of it. So here's my Memoji here. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger by dragging out the blue handler dots. Tap on my paintbrush, tap on image, instant alpha and then drag my finger through the white area and tap done. Then I might need to rotate and resize. If you're having trouble with rotating, a good idea is to make your picture a bit larger and then you have more room to use your fingers to rotate. I'm gonna send this to the back and then I'm gonna group these together by tapping on the witch, tapping on my head and tapping group. And now I've become a witch memoji. I'm gonna tap on my memoji and tap copy back to my first slide and paste. Pinch to zoom out, move my witch memoji off the screen, resize it a little bit so it's a little bit smaller. Tap on it, tap animate, choose add action again and create path. Pinch to zoom out and I'm gonna move my witch across the slide and tap done. I'm gonna go up to build order. I'm gonna change this one to say with build five. So the first witch is gonna come on without tap. And the same with the second witch. So my emoji, I'm gonna tap with build five, but I'm gonna add a delay on so that we don't come on together. The first four items I will delete at the end. So it will start with the rectangle and then the two witches will come on. On slide two, we have some different homes here and we can just simply copy and paste or we can start to build our own little town on slide one. So if we tap on here and we tap copy, come back up here and paste. Now what you can do is start to move these around and kind of put them on the hill, rotate them around and keep going until you have a little town built. Don't forget to rotate and also use a range if you need to send things behind. That can create some more interesting effects. So let's rotate it this way. 
and keep going until you've built your little town how you want it to be. Now don't forget that you want your witches to fly in front so you might need to tap on them again and change the arrange to be forward. Now to build a pumpkin you have all these different shapes here and it can get students to be quite creative. So for example you could use this as a mouth or you could make it smaller and use it as an eyebrow above an eye. So all we need to do is tap on these and tap copy and start to build our pumpkins up. can use your flip horizontally and vertically or even rotate to change how they look. Now there are two ways that we can do this. We can either do a multi-tap and select all the different parts together and choose group to create our pumpkin. The other way to do your pumpkin is to cut the shapes out so I can do a multi-tap, select all the different parts, come over to paintbrush and arrange and choose subtract and that will cut out the different shapes and then I've got my pumpkin with the cut out bits. You might not like that because it can be a bit too see-through but you could always put a glowing circle behind it to make it look like there's a light there. So we've got one already over here on the moon so I could copy and paste that one if I need it. So if I move the moon away, I can use my glowing circle, copy, come back here, paste, put it behind my pumpkin and it's going to become a glowing pumpkin. Keep going and create your pumpkin. Once you've made your pumpkins, you can copy them and you can come back over here and paste them and start to put them around the homes to make it look like there's some little pumpkins happening. On this one, we can get the bats to fly across the screen by copying them and pasting. You might just want to have the bat in the silhouette of the moon and that could look quite interesting. Or you can get it to move from one side of the screen to the other, just like you did with the witch. I'm going to get my bat and I want it to fly from behind the homes and upwards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my bat all the way down here, tap on it, tap animate, tap add action, create path and then make my bat appear to fly up and through the moon. If I go back to my build order, I can choose with build five and give it a bit of a delay and tap done. I'm also going to make sure that my bat is moved backwards a bit more. Now for this one, we can create an animated GIF over three slides. The only tricky bit about this is trying to get the bat into the same position on each slide. So what we want to do is move the bats. So there's one on top of each other. And then we're going to duplicate the slide. Remove the middle bat and the bottom bat from the first slide. On this one, remove the top bat and the bottom bat. And this one, remove the top bat and the middle bat. So get rid of the sign and then get rid of the instructions. Now it looks like our bat is starting to fly. So we need to create this into an animated GIF by exporting out slides seven, eight, and nine. So I'm gonna tap on the three dots in the top right hand corner Tap on export and choose animated GIF. And then I'm gonna make sure I choose my slide range, seven to nine. Go back to my GIF options. Make sure you choose extra large because that's the best quality when we do an animated GIF. Tap on export, tap on share and save image. Got a little bat flying here. So you can keep building and adding to the scene. I've put myself in again as my witch memoji. I've put in more pumpkins and also more bats flying. So I will test it out and make sure I'm happy with it. And what I want to do is export this as a movie into my photos and then from photos, put it into iMovie and add some sound over the top. So tap on the three dots in the top right hand corner and export movie. 
choose our slide range to be one to one so that we don't export all slides and then tap export. Wait for it to create the movie, tap share, save video. And that should go into our photos. Tap on photos, find my movie, and let's add some sound. Tap edit, tap on the three dots, tap on iMovie, tap on the soundtrack, and let's find the scary Monster Lab Halloween song. Tap on plus, tap done, tap done again, unmute and play.